Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding now for the national anthem of the Kingdom of Scotland. So this episode we're going to work a bit more on the city. I haven't finished these builds as yet. Might work on them this episode. As you can see there's still lots of uh, loads of turf and whatnot inside. So we'll have to get rid of that. Instead I'm planning to work a bit on kind of a marketplace. Something that I implemented in the desert village. I implemented one. Might implement more in a future episode. I don't know. To be honest, I was demotivated. <laughs> I think I was demotivated from working on the desert village because of that one time I... Oh, what was it? I, I died. The game crashed and I lost all my stuff. And there was a lot of wool in there that I'd spent a lot of time getting, so... With the new kind of shearing mechanic, I'm... Uh, getting back some some wool that I might have lost. This is where we're going to put in the marketplace. I don't particularly want it to be that big, but at the same time, this bally circle's in the way. Let's start building on the other side first, shall we? So, I don't have a clear cut plan as to what I want to do. Oh yeah, I forgot you don't get upside down. <laughs> I I keep thinking that these are more useful than they are. Like I keep thinking you can place them anywhere, and I, I keep thinking you can place them on the top of blocks, but no, none of that, none of that happens. Maybe we could do. Oh yeah, you don't get upside down slabs either. Um, right. Well, there you go. Let's just do something like that. How big should it be? Let's let's go all the way to here. So it's four wide. Actually, let's make it five wide. I kind of want to change the shape of this hill solely to accommodate for the market areas. I'm just going to place down some gravel. Yeah, I want to expand it to that size. And then we need fences, which we can place a lot easier now. Let's, let's put it up to three three blocks tall, I would say. And then we've got white wool. Let's put... Oh, let's put blue wool over here. Why not? So we'll put a blue wool uh, marketplace. One there. One like that. Oh, actually, I also wanted to maybe uh, implement a bit... Oh, look! If I try to pick block or white wool, it goes to... Oh, it goes to blue. Well, wait, what happens if I pick block of that? Yeah, it goes... Okay. That's mucked up. Anyway, um... Yeah, so what I'm thinking is maybe doing something like that. Just for a bit of a difference. Let's go on to the roof. Oh, bother. It's so hard to jump around with fences in the way. Alright. It's looking all right thus far, and then we're going to go back. Oh, should we make it square? Don't like using gravel because there's always a risk you're going to get flint. I know, risky getting flint. Anyway, uh, I'll make it five. Actually, let's only make it three. One, two, three. Get rid of that. Put that there. There we go. So that's the uh, that's the extent of the market area. It's not too big. I'm not sure about this either. Like, I'm not sure if I like 
it like that. And we'll uh, we'll bring it all the way back here where we can uh, add some more fences. So yeah, just something simple, something simple to add, and it kind of makes sense in the context of the uh, the context of the whole build, the whole city, because obviously people need to buy stuff. That's how uh, cities and towns work. Uh, let's add that. Yeah, I don't like the stuff at the front. I hate to say. Not a huge fan. Slightly better. Yeah, I like that. Let's add a few boxes here and there. Actually, let's uh, let's get rid of the uh, the ground here. We're going to just add a flooring of stone, I would say. And that way, we've at least got that sorted. Oh my gosh! If you wonder why I haven't changed my uh, changed to a different mouse, it's because I want I don't want to I want to hold out with this one as long as possible until I physically just cannot use it. Or not physically, but it doesn't make any practical sense. Right, let's do that. Maybe add a chest or something. But yeah, that's what we're, we're going for here. So that's one marketplace. I think the other one will have to go... Well, how far back does it go? It's one, two, three, four, five. It's five blocks back. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's gonna... It's gonna go here. And this one will be red at the top. It'll have a red top. Just like the Sun newspaper. Hey, if you get that joke. Um, actually, I'm sure that's a a bad joke and be an obvious joke. Everyone gets that. I'm sure. I don't just just to um, just a disclaimer. I don't read the Sun. Other newspapers are available. I don't know why I chose the Sun of all. The reason I see the reason I chose that newspaper is because it's like one of the most controversial uh, in the UK. But I, I could have chosen any of the other uh, red tops. Right, um, what I want to do, I do have some dirt, let's add to this a wee bit, and this is the next part of the uh, building task, as you can see this is, it's not off centre, but it's it's not aligned because of the circle, but that's okay, uh, we've got some boxes in there, we've got the hill sorted, I think. Um, but either way, this is, uh, yeah, it's coming along nicely. In some ways it's a cop-out, but in other ways it just adds, you know, it's, it's different. And it's important to have different things in a build like this. It's the this, it's this second settlement of this size that I've built. Or not this size, but of a, of a bigger than just a village size. And uh, it's, yeah, it's important to have... Lots of different things in it. I'm sure I've said that already. But not very positive about this. I still I still enjoy sailing in from the uh, the underground rail over there. I still enjoy sailing in and looking at the view of the, the city. So, uh, yep. As long as I continue to enjoy the view, uh, it will be considered a success. Alright, let's dig up all that. This is what it's like underneath. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add lights here. And we're going to just yeah, add some some of those on top. Just because that makes a wee bit of sense. Might as well do the same over here. I walk down the street at night and it's fairly dark so that's something we're going to have to possibly remedy. Or we could just leave it dark. It doesn't really matter either way. I mean technically they didn't have as many lights back in those days. They were limited to uh, to candles and all that. No street lights. Well, that's a mob. Oh, it's a brown sheep. Yeah, yeah that's a mob. I knew, there was, I knew that a new mob would spawn. Incidentally, it spawned in the, the one building that has lights. Right, there we are. So that's the two marketplaces built, which uh, I do like. I think they're good. We'll probably build some houses over there. And what I'm thinking is, hopefully with narrow streets, because I want to give the impression that it's kind of a poorer area, if you know what I mean, and the streets are narrow and it's there's not much space kind of thing. So I don't know how I'm going to pull that one off, but we'll uh, we'll see. 
but for the rest of this episode, or for most of this episode, I'm going to work on digging out the dirt from inside these buildings and maybe work the buildings themselves. It's not going to be, like, super tedious work, or super detailed work, or interesting work even. It's just going to be, uh, as I said, digging out the hill and adding probably just cobblestone walls, because at the end of the day there may be builds that go on this side, there may not be, I don't know, but for now we'll just leave cobblestone walls up separating all these builds and the builds from the outside. So, surprise surprise, I got a bit bored. <laughs> um, well, not really, I just didn't fancy just throwing up walls, so I didn't bother throwing up the walls. I dug out the rooms and everything, you'll see them in another episode I'm sure, but we are going to be working on a project that I hinted at recently. I've always wanted to expand the village a wee bit, but I, I've not really had any good ideas, which is why it's not happened yet. Um, obviously the village doesn't look amazing these days because we've got so many more blocks to work with, but I think it looks okay. It's a bit unique. That's what I like about it. So we're going to work on a bit of an aqueduct. Never built that. I don't think I've ever built an aqueduct. I've built a canal before, but I've never built an aqueduct. First off, we need to tear this monstrosity down and reclaim all of the uh, all of the blocks because we'll need them. Second of all, we need to mark it out. We need to mark out where it comes from. Where is it going? Where does it come from? Okay, no, never mind. I was, uh, I was going to sing the song. So I appreciate aqueducts are not the most uh, useful thing. There, yeah, there's no use for them at all in this game, but. Thought it'd be kind of cool, just as a as a bit of a build that we could do. I mentioned that earlier, but yeah, we're going to try and bring water to the village out in the middle of the desert. There's no water around except for the massive lake nearby, which, let's just say that's salt water. It's not good for drinking, so we'll bring some fresh water uh, from the mountains over here. So, we just need to figure out where to begin. I'm not even sure if I want to build out of sandstone, to be fair. Like, it wouldn't look that good in the mountains. It would look a lot better in the desert, that's for sure. It's quite a cool area, actually. I think I... This is when I first... This is the mountains I first came over when I arrived in this area for the first time, I think. You can see the city over there. I think what we want to do... I, I kind of want it going in a straight line. I don't want any curves or anything. Um, I don't have... I don't have a workbench. That was smart. I came without uh, planks or anything. So, the aqueduct that I'm planning to build is going to end up here. I just realised, well I didn't just realise, I kind of knew already that there was a fountain in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the village, but let's just say that water's not safe for drinking. This is the uh, this is where all the fresh water comes, out of the mountains. That's the whole reason we're building the aqueduct. And I was going to use sandstone to build it but I've opted instead to use just cobblestone, regular stone, stone stairs. What? I had a crafting table on me. Where did it go? That's so annoying. I know where it went. I dug up a crafting table in here and put it in a chest. I must have put both of them in. Yeah, there we go. Right. I've got a bit of a design online that I do like the look of. I'm going to adapt it, obviously, slightly. I usually adapt things because <laughs> I either don't have the resources or the the mechanics in the, these versions to, uh, you know, make it, make, recreate, is what I was trying to say. I don't have the, uh, all the mechanics to recreate these designs. But, first of all, we need, oh actually, well we don't need to have stone slabs, but I thought they might look good. I've got way too much stone on me here. Right, there we go, we've got stone stack of stone slabs. I'm just going to get it started. We're not going to finish it today. This is a task for another episode. So this is where the water is going to end up. Just outside the village. Nice and easy to get to. Um, hmm. Alright, well, let's start with the legs. Okay, the bridge is going to be five wide. Uh, we're going to have stone slabs surrounding the base, I think. It's hopefully not going to be as big as the prototype that I built, but you never know. Uh, what I want to do actually is get rid of the sand here. Let's do all that. Just so we can't see any of the sand underneath. So it looks like it has a foundation. Uh, then we're going to use the, not the slabs, we're going to use the stone. The cobblestone. We're going to build up slightly. 
This may actually get pre pretty big. I'm not sure about the legs only being one. I think, nah, they need to be two, two blocks wide. I think we'll do that. We'll have two block wide legs right here. And then the stone slabs can uh, go around like so. And then uh, we'll go up to this height. How high is that? Is that five high? Yeah, that's five high. So we'll go up to five high, I reckon. At five high, we're going to start with the, the arch. But the arch isn't going to be that big, I don't think. Let's um, let's start on the other leg, shall we? See how far away that's going to be. Now, I don't want to flatten this out. It's going to all hopefully be at the same level and we'll just have to dig through any hills that we come to. Right, so I'm thinking about going for something like that for the arch. Although it's... Mm, I don't know, it's not... It doesn't seem archy enough. If that That's not a word. But it is now, so... Yeah, what we could do, maybe, is add that stuff on. This this looks more and more like the prototype. The more I uh, the more I I add to it. So what happens if we get rid of all this? Does it look any better? Uh. Yeah, yeah, that looks better. We'll go with that. So this is the arch. And what we're going to do is we'll have another pillar here. So that's the base, I think, the base of the arch. Um, now, I do want to include various patterns on it, like stairs. I think stairs would look all right. Um, hmm. I'm wondering... Well, for starters, it's going to be three wide. It has to be three wide. There is no which way. It will be three wide. Uh, I'm going to place some slabs at the end here. I'm just making this up as I'm going along, to be honest with you. Don't have a scooby what I'm doing. Oh! Doesn't help when I fall. Okay, so we've added some half slabs up top. Then, we're going to get some stone involved. I'm just going to put that here. Let's get rid of this. And then the, this pillar can kind of stop here. And obviously the uh, the next arch is going to start here. And beyond that, this can continue to go upwards. So what happens if we, if we just add a texture like that or add a, a look like that? It doesn't look that good, does it? Alright, I might be onto something. I might be, I'm not sure. We're just going to have a look at it now. Does that look okay? Does that look too weird? See, I like it because it kind of gives a, an art shape, but beyond that, uh, it's, it's just kind of a, a bit meh. Um... What we need is we need to define where the upper limit is, which is probably going to be up there because I don't want to go any higher up. So let's add some ladders here. Yeah, the upper limit is going to be right here. This is the base. And then what we're going to have is... Oh, we need more uh, slabs, it looks like. And then these slabs are going to be the outline and they'll go here. But it's not going to be slabs that hold the water in. Rather, it's going to be stairs. Stairs going back to back. Because I think that would look good. Plus, you might be able to see the water through them, so... Yeah, and then the, obviously the next stair will be facing this way. If that makes sense. I, I, I can probably fill it in, to be honest. Yeah, like this. And then the next one would be... Like that. So I think that would look good. But the problem is, does it look good as a whole? Or should we redo it? I'm not going to redo it all. I'm, like, we're too deep now. We're too deep into the project to completely scrap it. 
So I've got the aqueduct to a stage where I'm, I wouldn't say I'm happy with it, but it's bearable. I never actually got the other arch done. I might have said I was, but I never did. So that was a rip, but whatever. As you can see, I'm just currently adding in the uh, the water. And that's just obviously to give the, the effect of it flowing down to the stream below. And at the end here, as you can see, I might have got a bit OTT, but I decided to add a bit of a stair pattern. Doesn't look too bad. It's just a wee bit weird. Not sure how it looks, I might get rid of it, but let's go and have a look at it from the side. To be fair, it's it's okay. I like the pattern and all that. It's just I wish there was more to it. But then, at the same time, if there was more, we'd have to make it higher. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that up there. I'm going to get rid of it. Waste of some stairs, plus it'll take a long time, but I don't like it. In fact, see, it looks okay from this side. We should try and make another serpent statue. That's kind of what I was going for, I guess, but I'll, I'll actually do that. Make a, some more serpent statues up there. Elvis the serpent statues with their white tongues and all that. But yeah, I like that. That looks okay. Let's take a look at it from far away, because a lot of stuff I build looks better from far away. See, I think it'll look better once it's all along the uh, the landscape like that, but we've got a wee while to go before we get to that stage. But I don't regret using stone over... Uh, sandstone because sandstone obviously there's only one colour, one texture, this you know there's multiple things we could do so I'm happy with what we've gone for but yeah that should do it for this episode we got a few things done which uh, I'm happy with but until next time thank you for watching bye for now